Hi, I'm Dr. Frida. Did you know that President John F. Kennedy was an extremely ill man? And did you know that his sickness was a secret? Do you know what Addison's disease is? Keep watching. JFK, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, once declared himself to be the healthiest candidate for president in the country. He made this declaration during the 1960 election, and he, at the age of 43, became the youngest elected president to our country. This six foot one tall man always tried to exude the optics of optimal health. This healthy image that was portrayed in the media, however, could not have been farther from the truth. It really was fake news because the truth of the matter is that JFK was extremely ill and he had chronic debilitating pain and recurrent infections. President Kennedy had Addison's disease, which I will talk about. He also had multiple other illnesses related to autoimmune disease, which I will also discuss. So yes, President JFK was sick, but his sickness was a secret. So tell me, knowing this, what do you think about President Kennedy's character? Many argue that it was flawed since he was in fact dishonest to the whole world about his poor health. But if you think about it, the fact that this young president was able to push through his critical illnesses, he was able to push through chronic excruciating pain, to push through recurrent infections, and still he was able to stand up and to serve his country? Well, you might argue that President Kennedy's deception was in fact a testament to a strong character. Either way, I want you to decide. I want you to listen because over the next several minutes, I'm going to go over JFK's secret sickness. I'm going to talk about Addison's disease, the definition, the signs, the symptoms, the diagnosis, the treatment. I'm also going to touch briefly on autoimmune disease, which President Kennedy also had. And I'll just mention very briefly some of his other illnesses, including thyroid disease, ulcers, colitis, urinary tract infections, chronic back pain. The list is long. So let's go. So what is Addison's disease? Well, Addison's disease is when you have adrenal insufficiency, which is when your adrenal glands are not making sufficient amounts of their hormones. That's it. That's the definition. What in the world are the adrenal glands? Well, your adrenal glands are the triangle-shaped organs that are located right on the top of your kidneys, in the lower back, in your flanks. The adrenal glands are responsible for releasing certain hormones. For example, the fight or flight hormone. You know what fight or flight is. Just imagine, you're walking down the street, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden, you're approached by some suspicious, scary looking character. And you think to yourself, oh my goodness, this might be the killer. So now you are in an acute stress syndrome. You have fight or flight. Your adrenaline glands then release a catecholamine, adrenaline, which is responsible for that fight or flight response. Your pupils get dilated, you start breathing very rapidly, your heart starts beating fast, blood starts rushing to your brain, to your arms, to your legs, you start trembling. You are then faced with the decision. Do you stand there and try to fight the killer? Or if that matchup doesn't look like it will turn out so well, then you use that same energy to take flight and run. This is the fight or flight response. The adrenal glands also produce other hormones, such as cortisol, which helps to regulate blood sugar. It also helps to fight infection. The adrenal glands release mineralocorticoids like aldosterone, which helps to regulate your salt and your potassium. 
It also helps you to maintain a blood pressure. Adrenal glands also produce androgens like testosterone. And yes, both men and women do produce testosterone. However, for you men, most of your testosterone is made in your gonads. Your testes. However, adrenal glands make testosterone as well. So now you know the function of your adrenal glands. So what happens if the adrenal glands are not working properly? You develop what President Kennedy had, Addison's disease. It's something. President Kennedy did manage to keep his illness a secret to the world. However, his opponents during that 1960 presidential campaign were highly suspicious that he was sick. They knew he was sick. In fact, it was reported that during that campaign, some thieves actually broke into JFK's doctor's office trying to look for his medical records. They found medical records, but they came out empty-handed as far as JFK was concerned. Why? Because he used a code name, an alias. And it is widely speculated that these robbers were hired by his then opponent, Nixon. It goes to show you, politics have been really something a little bit dirty for a long time. So even though we didn't have his medical records back in 1960, now those records have been released and reviewed, which is why we now know the symptoms that President Kennedy suffered.